welcome back to Average Joe's and I'm Jesse. and today I'm going to, I'm here to talk to you about an entire series of books and it is I like to call it the What If series also known as the Twisted Tale series put out by Disney. As you can tell by the thumbnail there's quite a few of these. So we're just gonna go through these in movie release order because I'm that kind of nerd and um, there is one that I do not have and I'm going to be working on getting that one but to start off and I'll tell you which ones I've read and what the what if is about this so this one is mirror mirror this one is by Jen Kalanita and this one is what if the evil queen poisoned the prince this one is really good I read this one in December so if you want to hear more of my thoughts on that you can go check out my December wrap-up but I really like this one this was my first one I believe by Jen Kalanita. I enjoyed it. It she did a really good job of creating snow not like the movie. And I would definitely reread this one and if I want to. Or I would definitely reread this one. Next is So This Is Love. Sorry, this cover is really, really shiny. This is by Elizabeth Lim. This is What If Cinderella Never Tried on the Glass Slipper. So this one let's go back to this one so this one takes place throughout the typical movie and this is something that happens with the what if series they either happen like they change the entire route uh, timeline of the movie or they change the ending or they take change something that happened afterwards this one they change everything about it and I really really enjoyed that one this one is So This Is Love by Elizabeth Lim. This is What If Cinderella Never Tried on the Glass Slipper. This one happens af like kind of at the end. This, so this is like an alternate ending to the movie. So this is What If Cinderella Didn't Try on the Glass Slipper. She has to find a way to stop the villains, which is Lady Tremaine. I have not read this one. This is one of my most anticipated reads from last year because this came out last year and I'm hoping to get to it soon. This is a recent acquire. This is Once Upon a Dream by Liz Braswell. This is What If Sleeping Beauty Never Woke Up. This one I got in paperback because I like the paperback cover more than I like the hardback cover. This one is like an alternate ending as well compared to um mirror mirror which is a completely different timeline this one is an alternate ending i have not read this one but yes this one is uh i just got this one so this one is hopefully going to get read soon too i'm gonna say that about all of them because you know this is the reason why disney is on my bookopoly board another one by liz braswell is a birthday this is what if wonderland was in peril and alice was very very late so this one is kind of like a continuation um and after the fact this one is uh alice is older and she's like 18 and she has to go back to wonderland to save it because it's in peril um i'm not a huge alice in wonderland fan but i definitely want to read this one because it is by liz braswell and i do enjoy her writing especially when it comes to her twisted tales so i'm definitely looking forward to this one I'm going to say that again. This one's kind of a chunky monkey. Oh God, this one's like 500 pages. But I want to read this one anyways because, like I said, it is Brass Liz Braswell. And I will give most Disney books a chance, especially in a series that I really, really enjoy. There were three Twisted Tales released last year. So this is Love on Birthday. And then this one, which is Straight On Till Morning. This is also by Liz Braswell. This is What If Wendy First Traveled to Neverland with Captain Hook. So this one sounds like it is a kind of alternate timeline instead of an alternate timeline different from the movie. That could be interesting instead of her going with Peter and her going with Captain Hook. I just recently talked about this one. This is part of your world. This is also by Liz Braswell. And this is What If Ariel Never Defeated Ursula. This one I have read. This is, I've read three out of this entire stack. This is, 
absolutely hilarious and this is why I love Bruce Liz Braswell's writing because Eric's one-liners in this are fantastic. This is an alternate ending to the movie. This is Ariel is underneath the sea being the queen of Atlantica and she has no voice and Vanessa slash Ursula is married to Prince Eric and ruling the kingdom. There's that. I absolutely love this one. If you want to hear more thoughts about this, I did just release a video the other day talking about this one and Poor Unfortunate Souls, which um, is great. I talk about the differences and what's similar. There really aren't that many similarities other than the basis of what both books are about, which is they follow roughly to the movie. Here's another one that I read. This one is A Whole New World. Again, this one is by Liz Braswell. This one is What If Aladdin Never Found the Lamp. He did actually find, he does actually find the lamp, but the twist on this one is if, uh, if Abu never takes it back from Jafar and Aladdin has to find his own way out of the Cave of Wonders and back to Agrabah and to fight. This one's a little dark if I, from what I remember. I did enjoy this one, but I do definitely want to give this one a reread when the time does come. And I am planning to read these in movie release order just because I'm that type of nerd. The next one is as, as old as time. This one is again by Liz Braswell. This is What If Belle's Mother Cursed the Beast. I have tried to read this one. This one is a thick one too. This one is also about 500 pages and the thing I remember about this one is that it was really hard for me to get into and maybe it was because of the time in my life when I was trying to read it but I definitely want to give this one another go because this is my favorite Disney movie and I want to figure out what happens in this one. My guess is this is a completely different timeline than what we see originally. If I remember correctly, it is a completely different timeline because we start way before the um, the movie in this one. We meet Bill's father before he meets Bill's mother and how that happened. And two that are not by Liz Braswell. This one is by Jen Kalanita. This one just recently came out last week and it's super super shiny and I hate it. But anyways, I do love the cover. It's very very pretty. This one is what if Meg had to become um had to become a Greek god. So this is an alternate ending. This is Hera steps in and gives her gives Megara the chance to become a Greek god instead of Hercules saying that he is going to remain a human and stay with Meg. I'm looking forward to this one because she has to go to Hades to get her ex's wife's soul. So she's got to do, so she's got to beat up Hades, not beat up, but she's got to battle Hades in some way or form. So I, a little, little, I keep saying so, so many times in this movie, in this show, this video. <laughs> I haven't even looked underneath the cover to see what this one looks like underneath. Oh, it's pretty blue. But yes, I did just pick this one up and I'm looking forward to it. And I want to read this one. I wanted to get this one on my April TBR, but it just did not happen because I completely forgot about it when I was picking out books for my TBR. That is Go the Distance, and this is by Jen Kalanita. Another one by Jen Kalanita is Conceal Don't Feel. This is What If Anna and Elsa Never Knew Each Other. This is another one that I've started. This is what, um, I believe what happens is the king and queen decide to move Anna out of the castle so she doesn't grow up near Elsa. And they find each other and find that they're sisters. This is an alternate timeline t according to the movie. But I have read this, uh, read a little bit of this one, not much, a little bit of this one. This is the last one that I own. This is the most recent one according to movie order. And hopefully this book stack doesn't 
fall over on me. I don't have the best luck with book stacks. There are two other ones, one that I do not own and one that comes out later this year. The one that I do not own is Reflection. And this is by Elizabeth Lim, who also wrote So This Is Love. This is What If Mulan Had To Travel To The Underworld. So this one, is, Mulan has to go to the underworld to save Shang because he's been mortally wounded. So this one kind of seems like it's a different, an alternate ending than the movie. The other one that has not come out yet, it has a prediction date of September 7th of this year. And that is What Once Was Mine. This is by Liz Braswell again. And this is What If Rapunzel's Mother Drank a Potion from the wrong flower. So instead of giving her the sunflower, they gave her the moonflower. And instead of her hair having healing properties, she can now kill people, I guess, with it. And her hair is silver and gray. Really looking forward to that one. So that one's kind of a twist on what actually happened. And I'm looking forward to that again. I said it again. Anyways, so those are all the Twisted Tales that I have. I'm only missing two, which makes me really, really happy. And I will keep an eye out for the one that I don't have. And I will be picking up what once was mine in September when it comes out. Because I'm really, really looking forward to that one. That was one of the ones that was released later in the year that I was not on my most anticipated when I first put that video out. Because it was coming later in the year. And so that one is now on my most anticipated reads for 2021. And I'm doing fairly decent with that list. Anyways, that's a completely different tangent, but I need to wrap this up because I need to go help Joe with the store. And I'm hoping to give you a sneak peek on that. Next one, let me know if you've read any of these and what you've thought. And I will talk to you in the comments and I'll see you in the next one.